encrypt it, look at what's left, and then, and then send it, it, on. it should be forwarded, send it on where the boss will unencrypt the rest of it. Yeah, exactly. That's so that's so thank you. Well, that sounds like a lot of clicking to me. Yeah, that's because mm -hmm. boss doesn't want to read his own email. <laughs> yeah, I mean the boss should just read his own. In most right. mail clients, yeah. uh, when you press the encrypt button, it, it sets a little header and a footer and then gobbledygook in between. Yeah. If you type text in front of the gobbledygook, PGP says that's fine. All it cares about is that you don't What's touch the message in between the header and the footer. So you can put your subject in a yeah. abstract. Again, it's, it's going to be a, a specific use case. You know, I mean, I don't email people that don't read their own emails. <laughs> but, you know, so it, you would have to just, yeah, per use case, you'd have to change whatever you want to do with that. Um, when you said paste the key ID, that's your use case. You said I'm an evolution. Paste the key ID. Yeah, you know, from Meaning, everybody at GM saying say, this is screwed up. private key. <laughs> have to get somebody to sort it out. <laughs> Yeah, it, well, it's your, yeah, your private key ID. Well, your, your key, a public and private, has the same key ID. So your key ring knows that you have your keys in there. So say in my email here, we go up to, uh, no, I have to remember how to do it. <laughs> Preferences. You're it's not still showing the presentation. presentation. Oh, sorry. I tried to set this up on this. For some reason, my computer won't do it. You know, it's, I don't know what, it, it's like a driver because I, this, I just loaded Mint 17 on here and it does this, but when I had Mint 14 on here, it worked great. It's the same computer, same hardware. Anyway, so we go up to edit, yeah, preferences. That's the problem. New distro means new hardware. Uh, and you have to do this per your email. So because, you see I have a bunch of different emails. So this is one way you can use your Gmail with encrypted and not using a web client. You can use, you know, over SMTP or whatever. You said so, evolution to get Gmail. Yeah, evolution. Because you can use I've got uh, Pop or, yeah. or, right. or yeah. IMAP. Yeah. IMAP um, is how uh, Gmail. Right. Well, I, I think you, yeah, IMAP is the way, and that's how I always do all mine. But anyway, you go down here to security, and that's the key ID right there. So because you see that, doesn't that's mean that Part you, of your fingerprint, that's the last eight digits of your Right. Eight, that's right. And that's your where you're telling Evolution to go to my key ring and use that key to make the encryption. That's it's just a way to ver to tell and tell it to which key to use and you keep it. That's all it's doing. Uh, and it's just a short, easy way to do it. Okay, we have to set up the key right now. Right, and that's uh, that was one of the first slides I said you know, how you create your key. GPG and key ring. Um, so let's go to Seahorse passwords and keys. And this is my passwords and keys, and now it also looks different because we're on a new version of <laughs> <laughs> So these are, see, I have my key here, and I have other people Where? that I know. Where's your key? Well, the very time. top one, Anthony Venus, that's me. And right here it says personal PGP key. All the rest of these are GPG keys. Or PGP Those are keys. public. Right. Yeah, these are all personal public. private. Mine. In, this includes both my public and private keys. This shows people that have signed my keys. Right? No, did I type, hit the wrong one? Well, you've got names and signatures, but it all looks like the same person. Oh, these, yeah, this right here, Alexander Robinson, he signed my key. So that's what it's showing you here. So yeah, this, is, three times. this is me, this is my Demos Online email. This is me, this is my Gmail. Oh, okay. This is me, it's my SMLR email, my podcast. And, you know, my Demos hosting email. Go ahead and re-import and you'll get another one. Uh, yep, yeah, so what you do is you come up to 
sync and publish keys and sync and I don't know how long it takes and we're not getting a status bar so hopefully it was fast and because I don't have this person it's like I suppose that's why it's showing right, another available. there's another way to go see it if you're not looking here uh, but so let's say I go to, down to Kevin's we're in seahorse now this is seahorse right for evolution all right, I'm sorry, Seahorse no. with no, Right, but you can use Seahorse with KDE if you like Seahorse better than the, the KDE version. It, it, it's whatever you want to you use. just get extra library. And that, yeah, that's a whole other conversation about packages. Huh? Where am I getting Seahorse? The, um, App get installed. So what, what's on your computer, your home computer? Ubuntu. Yeah, and you would have it's, it's, it's already installed in Seahorse, so you don't have to install it. Sure. It's there. They call it the passwords and keys manager. Yeah. Um, so it's already there. You can just start using it. Oh, will you install it by default? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is where I'm looking at Kevin's key. And so under the trust here, this is where I can sign it. And I trust Kevin. And um, I want <laughs> You know, and then this is where you do how you indicate how oh, like marginal yeah. or. Um, or I, I know a little bit. Black <laughs> down, see what else this, it got. There. I signed this a long time ago. At the time, it dropped on that list. Yeah, yeah, actually, really? you don't know the whole reason why I did marginal is because he created a key, lost his private key, and could not longer use it. So I had signed that one, and then he said, "Oh no, use this one instead." So I signed this marginally until I could verify. That, that was the one he actually uses, right. and then I just never went in. Drop down that list just so we can see what the other choices are. Yeah. So we okay. full, and so marginal is, you know, it's in the middle. Yeah. But, go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can sign and not trust a person, so that's the. So is it your trust that's only good until November 2nd? Or is that the key is only good until November 2nd? Uh, the key is only good until November 2nd. Okay. I believe. No, because I think you can extend it. Longer. You can extend it, but then people have to re-sync those keys back in. But again, you just hit sync, and you got the new. But the reason key. why he does that is because basically the thing about if you lose your private key, then yeah. after after November, that then, of time, they, yeah. then yeah, that key won't show up or it'll show as expired. So say if you want to send an e uh, email, I'm going to say new, I'm going to send it to Kevin, and Kevin O'Brien, <coughs> email address. Here under options, this is where you can say sign, encrypt, and whatever else. So I can say PGP encrypt, and then send. And I don't know what it's doing now. So it's good not the primary keys. Uh, no trust. No trust at all. Maybe. Who's account you sending from? <laughs> And it's things like this is where if you're only using, the person only has one key, uh, you know, it makes it easier. So if you're doing this with, you set it up for your family and you only have one key out there, then it's going to work. Kevin has multiple email addresses and this is, this is probably his other email address. So I have to find, I would have to now go back to the key ring, find out which email address is in that key, make sure I'm sending it to that email address, and then it would just encrypt it. So that's a failed demonstration. <laughs> that's basically how you go about doing it. Um, all right, we're gonna. I mean, if 
on my website is my presentation notes. You can go through each one, how to do it, Plaza Mail, you know, if there's a, an app get to install it, and a few things to set it up. Um, Thunderbird uses Ignite Mail for the PGP. Um, so basically you install it, and then you go in and you enable it. Enigma. It's going to be an extension. E N I G and Enigma. Uh, so, where am I getting Enigma? You go into the Thunderbird add ons and you would add it under the add ons. The MUD, if you like using MUD, you can use GPG with your MUD. And Webmail. This is one for Gmail that I ended up using. <laughs> It's possible to use it, like I said, I prefer using the Evolution version. Um, but like I said, there's other uh, Chrome ones, Chrome extensions that work better. Uh, and this is where I got most of my information. The Ubuntu help is actually a really step-by-step -step how to set it up. It's really easy to use. So if you only want to see one of these of how to use it, go to the Ubuntu one at the top here. That's the easiest. Uh, and then the best way to get this info is on my website, venushosting.com. And then on the security tab, you'll see I have a link right to it. Uh, so you don't have to type out this whole thing to find it. You just venushosting.com and then to it. And in my presentation, I used the strut.io editor. It's uh, impress.js. I really think, I think it's cool how it does this. Mm -hmm. um, different place. Right. Yeah, and there's, you can have it spin around, and I'm sure you saw some of them flying back and forth. But again, here's my fingerprint. I'll see, sign my key. Um, and that's it. Cool. cool.